Hey guys, welcome back to Golden Reviewer. This is the iPhone 13 Pro Max on the left and the Samsung S21 Ultra on the right. So both of these two devices share a very similar feature, which is 120Hz refresh rate. But not long after I've started using the iPhone 13 Pro Max, I noticed something that is not right. The display just doesn't seem like 120Hz. Even if you just do some simple scrolling in the settings app, I mean, that's the most simple thing you can do, right? But it just doesn't look like 120 hertz to my eyes. At least there is a very noticeable difference from the iPhone and the Samsung S21 Ultra. The S21 Ultra just seems smoother to my eyes. And you know what? I've used some 90 hertz display smartphones. And this iPhone scrolling feels very similar to those 90 hertz display. And I'm those kind of people who likes to find solutions. So I record that I can use a super slow motion in Samsung, which slows down the video to 32 times. So I use that to film both of these devices scrolling in settings app. And let's see the video. You don't really see anything, right? You don't notice anything wrong, right? That's understandable. So let me slow down this video further by 10 times and uh, see it again. Still cannot uh, really see anything. Uh, that's okay. Let me count the frames for you. Now do you see it? So in the same time, the iPhone just displays less frame than the Samsung device. If you don't trust me, it's alright. Just go back and focus on either of these devices and focus on the number and see whether I count correctly. That's our problem, right? Uh, I did some simple math and it seems that Samsung is about 120 hertz. But then what about the iPhone? Like 80 to 90 hertz? And it does correspond to my personal feelings. It just feels like a 90 hertz display. You, you, you can't really say a uh, throttling or any adaptive refresh, right? Because this is the native settings app. It, you can't go any simpler than this. This is like the most uh, bare bone, the most uh, light application you can go. And it's just a scroll, scrolling the simple list. If this cannot be 120 hertz, what else can be 120 hertz? And if your device cannot even do 120 hertz in this settings app, then are, are you even allowed to advertise your device as 120 hertz? And I do see a lot of positive feedbacks for the battery life for, for the iPhone 13 Pro Max. And I guess this might be the reason that it has a very good battery life because it's not really 120 hertz, right? We all know that refresh rate affects battery life by quite a lot. So is this some kind of marketing scam? Should Apple be allowed to do this? Yeah, I really hope there will be a solution to this. And I'm a golden reviewer who dares to speak out the truth. Thank you for watching.